This video is the second in a three-part series about how to successfully set up and connect a community with the CapXM Access Control System and MyQ Business. In this part, we'll show you how to pre-configure the CapXM so it's ready to install at the job site. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate dash a dash dealer. We recommend pre-configuring the CapXM at your workshop prior to installing it at the job site. This allows you to confirm ability to connect to the internet, connection to the facility database, and basic functionality of placing a call, swiping a card, entering a code, and using the MyQ community app. Here's what you'll need at your workshop in order to pre-configure the CapXM. An Ethernet or Wi-Fi network connection. A computer with internet access. A MyQ account with your dealer owner or dealer technician login credentials. A mobile device. Let's talk about what comes in the box. The system includes the CapXM access control panel, a power supply, keys, gooseneck gasket, and electronic components. Set up the CapXM on your workbench. Unlock the CapXM and open it. Locate the power supply and observe the stripped and tinned red and black wires. Locate the power input connector on the control board. Notice the markings showing plus and minus and observe the orientation of the terminal block. You need to make sure you connect wires for the correct polarity. Remove the terminal block. Loosen the screws in the terminal block. Insert the red wire into the terminal block hole that aligns with the plus terminal on the board. Insert the black wire into the other hole. Tighten the screws to secure the wires. Reattach the terminal block to the power input connector, making sure the red wire aligns to the plus terminal and the black wire aligns to the minus terminal. The bracket for the credential reader is located by the control board. To mount the Wiegand credential reader to the CapXM door, follow these steps. Remove the power input terminal block. Remove the USB 3. Remove the postal lock harness. Remove the door board 1 and 2 harness. Remove the card reader bracket from the CapXM. Remove the mounting bracket from the card reader and locate the mounting hardware for the reader. Attach the mounting bracket to the reader bracket. Reattach the mounting bracket to the card reader. and secure it in place. Reinstall the card reader bracket, which should now securely hold the card reader. Reattach the power input terminal block. Reattach the USB 3. Reattach the postal lock harness. Reattach the door board 1 and 2 harness. We will demonstrate connecting the reader to door 1 of the door board. Remove the yellow-green terminal block from the door control board. Connect red to the 12VDC connector. 
Connect black to the ground connector. Connect green to data 0. Connect white to data 1. Reattach the terminal block. If there are any other devices you wish to test, connect them now according to the instructions in the manual. To enter admin mode, locate dip switch number 1 on the control board. To ensure the CAPXM boots in admin mode, flip dip switch number 1 to the on position, which is towards the camera. Plug in the power supply. Green and red LEDs on the doorboard will blink when powering up. A green status LED will turn on solid once booted. The CAPXM will display the MyQ logo and other code while booting up. When the boot up is complete, you'll see a welcome message. The CP number will be displayed. Make a note of this number. For this demonstration, we'll be connecting to a wired network. Locate the LAN port on the control board. Locate the LEDs on the LAN port. Connect the Ethernet cable from a hub, switch, or router to the LAN port on the control board. When a connection to an active network device is established, the yellow LED on the LAN port will light up or flicker. If the yellow LED is not lit, first check that the router is powered up. Also, check the connections on the CAPXM and the router. On the CAPXM display, Tap Continue to be taken to the Network Setup screen. On the display, select Wired Network. Tap Continue. Then tap Connect. The screen will update to show network connection status information. Tap Continue to Admin Mode. To confirm the camera is functioning correctly, tap Audio Video. The live stream from the camera will be displayed in the Camera Settings window. Exit Admin Mode by flipping DIP switch number 1 to the OFF position. By now, you've already set up the community database by adding residents, credentials, and more. When the CAPXM connects to MyQ, the database will be downloaded. This can take up to 5 minutes depending on the speed of the internet connection. When download is complete, the buttons on the screen will display directory and entry code. Confirm the clock, welcome message, and background image are displaying the correct information. First, test the connection to the MyQ community app. Tap the directory and search for your own name. Call yourself. The app will receive the incoming call. Answer the call. Confirm the microphone and speaker audio are working. Use the app to grant access. The LCD screen will display access granted. Next, test granting yourself access using hold to unlock in the app. This is similar to granting access using a remote control. Press hold to unlock in the app. The controller will click. The LCD screen will not show any message. Next, test granting access via a regular phone call. Tap the directory and search for your own name. Call yourself. The app will receive the incoming call. Do not answer the call using the app. After 30 seconds, the call will roll over to your regular phone. Answer the call. Press 9 to grant access. Also, test credentials. Touch a card to the card reader. The controller will click, but the LCD screen will not show any message. Test the entry code. Tap Entry Code. Enter the code on the numeric keypad. Tap the green Enter button. The LCD screen will display Access Granted. To ensure the CAPXM boots in admin mode, the next time you power it on at the job site, flip DIP switch number 1 to the ON position. Disconnect power to the controller and prepare it for transportation to the installation site. For more detailed information, including wiring diagrams, please refer to the CAPXM installation manual or visit partner.liftmaster.com.